This is a YouTube channel with 1.1 million subscribers on sale for $15,000. And here's another YouTube channel on sale for $70,000. I recently discovered there are websites out there selling established YouTube channels for thousands of dollars. So today I'm going to attempt to buy one of these channels to find out, is this just a big scam? Or can you actually buy someone else's YouTube channel that's got hundreds of thousands of subscribers? Okay, so I'd like just verified listings, I'd like the channels to have monetization enabled, and I'd like them to have already verified their identity. For subscribers, we'll do at least 100,000, and then everything else I'll just leave blank and I'll click search. Whoa! <laughs> Need for speed, $99, 2,000 subscribers? Well, let's have a look at the channel. <laughs> and it's just Need for Speed gameplay, makes sense. Well, I'll leave you on the back burner, because I was actually after something with slightly more subscribers. So let's actually see what the most subscribed on here is. 3.8 million subscribers and they are wanting $8,888. Well, let's find out if it's worth it. So this is the page and they get to add their own bit of info and they can even add some screenshots from the channel. So they want $8,000 but they have earned just $200 in the last 28 days and they have a community guidelines strike which isn't a great sign. They also only accept payments via crypto. I feel like if I buy this I'm asking to get scabbed. Let's keep looking. Newt Shorts 1.8 million subscribers and apparently they're earning $1,000 per month. Okay, well, that actually might not be a bad deal. Well, that actually says estimated revenue is $19, which is a lot less than $1,000 as advertised. And you've also got a strike warning. <laughs> they've listed it as a thriving YouTube channel. And if we go on the channel, to be fair, they've got more views than I've got. 44 million on their most viewed. But the thing is, right, if I buy this channel, what do I start uploading? Because let's click on one of the videos. <laughs> I don't even know what they're saying. How do I continue this? So most of the channels that are for sale aren't English speaking, which obviously makes it much harder for me to continue the uploads. But I'm not too worried about continuing the uploads. Primarily, I just want to see if I can legitimately get access to another YouTube channel. Because you will see, if I actually click buy this channel, it's a very complicated process. And it seems like most of the sellers want you to pay in cryptocurrency, which also feels a bit dodgy. But basically how it all works is if I, for example, wanted to purchase the Playtime Squad channel, I have to first create a deal. And then if the current owner of Playtime Squad, who is this fella, Asif Ali, agrees to my deal, I then send my $10,000 to a person called an escrow. They then hold on to my $10,000. Asif Ali then transfers the Playtime Squad to the escrow. And then after seven days, the escrow person sends Asif Ali my $10,000 and the escrow then sends me Asif Ali's Playtime Squad YouTube channel. So it's very complicated and it feels like there's a lot that could go wrong. Maybe I will get scabbed. We're just here to have a bit of fun. Oh, interesting. This YouTube channel actually got their silver play button. So I wonder if I purchased this for $1,450, could I then order another play button as well that would have this channel name? That would be so funny. Their revenue is so weird. On one day, they earned nearly $3,000 and then the rest of the time they earned barely anything. That's so weird. Oh, this channel is called Jack Reacts. So this could actually be quite handy. <laughs> Jack Reacts has earned over $100,000 in ad revenue in the last three years, and they get between 250,000 to 400,000 passive monthly views. Well, let's look at the actual channel. Oh my God, he's still uploading. His channel's quite inactive at this point. So $29,000 feels a little bit steep, but to be fair, he's still averaging like 13,000 views a day. Oh my God, it would be so funny if I bought this channel and then just started posting daily reactions to music videos just like him, but I just never acknowledge that we're not the same person. <laughs> But unfortunately, he's charging way, way too much money. Like, I cannot afford that. We might have to go back to Need for Speed. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what is this channel? Pretty Woman Kitchen. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine Pretty Woman Kitchen on a play button. They've got 120,000 subscribers, apparently. But they have literally no videos. They have nothing at all. That's so weird. It's only $349, though. I'm kind of tempted because it would just be so funny to own Pretty Woman Kitchen. Yeah, I'm going for it. <laughs> We've got lots and lots of small print. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. They're warning me that the website is not responsible for what happens after the listing ends and the sale is completed. Well, that's a bad sign, but we'll click agree and continue. Request to purchase Pretty Woman Kitchen. <laughs> Okay, apparently I just need to wait for the seller to accept. So while we're waiting, let's just buy another channel. What should we go with? Ooh, interesting. So I found this channel called Foofic, and they are selling for $1,400. But if we have a look at the actual channel, it's basically like weird kids content. And this is their most viewed video, 4.1 million views. But if we go ahead and watch it. Hello, my name is Foofic. <laughs> I think basically what's happening is this blue animated dog with a crown is reacting to these weird Paw Patrol related 
clips. So just something funny happens and he laughs at it. Now there's fun music and he's dancing. So I could see myself adding another layer to this. What if I animate myself into some weird animal and I react to the blue animated dog that's reacting to whatever this is? If I had this channel, I would own all of the rights to this content so I would be totally fine reacting to it. And then maybe it'll just randomly get a billion views because like dumb two-year-olds are watching it and then the rest's history. So they are losing subscribers. They do also have a guideline strike warning, but it's a warning rather than an actual strike. <laughs> it seems like every channel on this website has some kind of warning or strike. They've earned $1 in the last 28 days, so I'm not gonna lie. I think this is probably about to be one of the worst financial decisions I've ever made, but let's click buy this channel. <laughs> And I'm doing PayPal once again, please. Now I need to accept all of these scary details, which make it nice and legal for me to literally just be scammed out of all of my money. I agree. There you go. And now we just wait for them to get back to me. <laughs> I've still not heard back from Pretty Woman Kitchen either. So I'll see you when there's an update. It is now a couple of days later and both channels accepted their purchase. So my next step was to pay the escrow fees. And the escrow fees are 7% of whatever the purchase amount is. So for Pretty Woman Kitchen, I had to pay 7% of 349 which was $24. Now for some reason I couldn't pay via PayPal and instead I had to pay via cryptocurrency. So of course I did the logical thing and purchased £2,000 worth of Dogecoin. <laughs> I do not know how I'm going to explain that to my accountant. I paid the $24 escrow fee for Pretty Woman Kitchen, and then I paid the $84 escrow fee, or should I say 1,368 Dogecoin escrow fee. And now in all fairness to both sellers, they've both been quite prompt so far, but I want to warn you, do not do this. This is stupid. Not only is it kind of completely pointless to purchase another YouTube channel, because there's no way it's ever going to work. You're not going to be able to just carry on where the other channel left off. What are you thinking? But also, I'm paying for stuff with Dogecoin. This is incredibly dodgy. If you were to try this yourself, there's a chance you'll get scammed out of a lot of money. But anyway, that being said, both sellers have now made the escrow agent the manager of their corresponding channels. And as you can see, in six days, five hours, primary ownership rights will be transferred to me. <laughs> and once I get these YouTube channels, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to try and get two silver play buttons, but let's be honest, that's definitely not going to work. But first and foremost, I just want to find out if it works. Will I actually become the owner of these YouTube channels? So I guess I'll see you in six days, five hours, 35 minutes and 28 seconds. Ooh, the time of the Pretty Woman Kitchen has now ended, which means it was time for me to send the current owner $349. Now they let me do this via PayPal, providing it was a friends and family payment, which basically gets rid of any buyer security on my end. It means that it's impossible for me to refund this, so that's nice and dodgy. But the independent escrow agent is now able to make me the primary owner of the channel, so I've received an invitation to join. So it looks like on Pretty Woman Kitchen, I'm not going to get scammed. This is going to be a legitimate transaction and hopefully nothing goes wrong. Now, before I click accept, I have been doing some digging into the history of this channel because why does a random channel called Pretty Woman Kitchen have over 100,000 subscribers? Well, using the internet archive, I managed to go back to November 2020 and I found this screenshot of the channel and we can see the name and profile picture has been changed. He is not a pretty woman in the kitchen. They had 290 subscribers three years ago and they were uploading some videos which have now all been deleted, so we can't see the thumbnails but I was able to put the titles into Google Translate and it revealed some interesting names. <laughs> now they've been translated badly from Arabic but we do have a few key phrases such as steak from the house of kidneys, slicing the peel, cutting the heart and calf kidneys. Now I don't think this is as serial killer as it sounds. I think as I said they've just been translated really badly by Google and my thought is they're actually cooking videos where they're preparing meat. Hopefully anyway. <laughs> but either way, shall we accept our invitation? Let's see if we can actually get access to this channel. Here we go, become an owner. Sure, let's accept. <laughs> go on, go on. Here we go. Got a little bit more access. Manage permissions. What users do we have? All right, it's just me. And then the person above is the escrow agent who Becky will blur. So this means the original seller has no access to the channel anymore. So this looks good. Oh my God. <laughs> I've gone back to YouTube and now Pretty Woman Kitchen is just one of my channels in my list. <laughs> All right, let's log in. I'm in. I'm bloody in. It's all in Arabic. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. How do I get out of Arabic? <laughs> 
Okay, let's go to my YouTube studio. Oh my god, this is so weird. I'm just on the channel. I'm Pretty Woman Kitchen. I've got 120,000 subscribers. I have a channel violation. Should we find the details on that? YouTube deleted a video, but because it's now gone, I can't see what it was, why it was deleted. But it's just a warning. We'll leave it. Everything's still being translated from Arabic, so it's reading from left to right. So it takes a bit of getting used to, but we can take a look at lifetime statistics. Oh my god, apparently the channel had 82 million views. Doing what? And it earned $300. This is so weird. <laughs> Do I have any videos? No, they've all been deleted. Oh my god. Well, $349 later, here I am. <laughs> Pretty Woman Kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna comment on my last video. Okay, I'm just gonna say, good vid. And let's leave a comment. And I've logged back into Jack Sucks at Live. Sort by newest first. <laughs> Thanks, Pretty Woman Kitchen. <laughs> All right, I've officially purchased one YouTube channel. Now I just need to wait for the much more expensive one that actually has a bunch of videos and stuff. Okay. And now, even more excitingly, my countdown ended for the other channel, Fufeka. So I've sent them over £1,000 worth of Dogecoin, and I am now the owner of the channel. <laughs> So weird. So you can see it's here on my drop down. Let's log in. Oh, okay. Looks like everything's in Russian, but hold on a second. Is that $6.93? That Dogecoin pays for itself. So thanks to Pretty Woman Kitchen, I now know how to change the language. It's quite straightforward. There we go. <laughs> I cannot believe that I now own all of these videos. <laughs> Guess the monsters 15. Skibbity Toilet Original versus Iron Man. <laughs> we'll have a little watch. <laughs> <laughs> what have I bought? <laughs> I own this. Look, I could just change the description. Yo, yo, yo. What up? Iron Man rules. Save. So we have a community guideline strike, just like Pretty Woman Kitchen. They uploaded 17 days ago and got 500 views. And how much did we earn from that? Two cents. Okay. Lost two subscribers as well, which isn't great. Now, speaking of monetization, obviously right now the channel's earned $6. So that means that if I go to earn, everything is currently set up and active. However, I guess I need to change the AdSense account to my own. Otherwise, the previous seller will get the $6. But also, if we have a look at our watch time over the last... 365 days, it is on exactly 4,000 hours. And if it dips below that, Fufik will actually be removed from the partner program and I won't earn any money. So guys, if you're looking for any skidapoo toilet content, I've got the channel for you. Link in the description. Now this is kind of crazy, but I guess I can see exactly how much money this channel has earned in its entire history. You can see that in the last year, they've earned $133, but it looks like there's been no uploads for most of the year. So let's change it to lifetime. I'm kind of excited. Here we go. <laughs> go on! I don't know who owned this channel. I think it's obviously been sold many times. But if we go back to 2020, there was a period of time where this channel was earning over $100 a day. Meaning that in total, Fufik has earned $19,000. Most popular video was this Paw Patrol zombie one with 9 million. So how much did that earn? $3,000. I can't believe I'm looking at this. This is so weird. This is now my video. Look at that. They've got an intro and everything. So was this like actual original content? Oh, it's privated. That's so interesting. This is insane. It's the kid from Paw Patrol, which is like a kid's cartoon, but they've made their own version of it, and he's now a zombie that's about to be run over by a train. Did he get run over? Oh my god, he does. What the hell? <laughs> well, let's get it on private, and here we go. <laughs> Yeah, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Is this irresponsible? Possibly. So it looks like many of their biggest videos have been privated, uh, which is really, really interesting. I kind of want to just unprivate everything and see what happens. <laughs> it's possibly a bad idea, but I'm about to lose monetization, so I'm doing everything I can. Yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to hop back into Pretty Woman Kitchen, because I've got a funny idea. That's right, I have made a video for Pretty Woman Kitchen, and it's pretty incredible. <laughs> Shall we give it a watch? Yeah, sure, why not, Jack? What's up, guys? Pretty Woman Kitchen here, in the kitchen, feeling pretty. I just want to let you all know that I'll be back with regular recipe videos real soon. So stay subscribed, and I'll catch you on the flippy flop. <laughs> Weird, really strange. So I uploaded that video to Pretty Woman Kitchen two days ago, and I've not yet checked on the video's performance. Well, Pretty Woman Kitchen has 120,000 subscribers, so the video must be on at least, like, 20,000 views, right? Let's log in and find out. Go to my YouTube studio, and we have got 25 views. <laughs>
Zero comments, okay. Zero likes, okay. We've lost one subscriber. <laughs> We have some audience retention data, but I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure that's probably just me watching it. I didn't think it was even possible for a channel to be that inactive. Like, it's making me think perhaps none of those subscribers are even real. Potentially, they're all botted accounts. Well, I guess things on Pretty Woman Kitchen aren't going great thus far, but don't worry, we have Foofic to fall back on. I unprivated all of those videos, didn't I? So we probably have millions of new views, right? Well, I did get 300 more views, but then YouTube also removed my monetization for having reused content, apparently. <laughs> And I've fallen below the watch hour threshold. So even if my channel wasn't riddled with apparent stolen content, I wouldn't be eligible to make money anyway. <laughs> so now the two big questions. Number one, can you buy other people's YouTube channels? Well, we've proven over the last month the answer is yes, you can. But then the second question is should you buy other people's YouTube channels? To which I would generally say absolutely not. Unless your sole intention is to just be one of those people that are verified in the YouTube comments. I really don't see any advantage to this. The only way it could ever work is if you were buying a faceless channel that had like an AI voice that you could just continue to replicate and also that channel was still successful whereas all of the channels that you see on these websites they're all kind of dead and that's why they're for sale because people are just trying to make a little last bit of extra money. But either way we could continue this. I have these two channels now. I'll leave them linked in the description. Let me know if you have any fun experiments you think I should try. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Let's get to 4 million and I'll see you all later.